Also breaking tonight, extra security will be on hand for a game between Audrey Kell and West Charlotte High Schools. It comes after an Audrey Kell player was sidelined for posting a racial slur on social media. Tonight, his parents are speaking out about what happened. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is live at Vance High School where tonight's game will be played. Tanya. Yeah, so I heard from that boy's father who said they are truly sorry and they hope that somehow the community is going to find a way to come together. We'll look at how the community is showing up already. We're two hours before the game outside of Vance High School. Look how long this line is starting outside of the school, snaking all the way through the parking lot. I'm going to have my photographer, Reed Bennett, pan around so you can see just how many people are here. Almost everybody, a West Charlotte High fan. People we spoke to today said they are not going to get let ignorance get in the way of a big game tonight. Audrey Kell varsity basketball taking on West Charlotte in a playoff matchup tonight, but it's the off the court foul that's left a star student athlete benched. Yeah, that's the talk out of school now. One of the biggest players for Audrey Kell bragging before the game sent a snap he thought no one else would see. It was seen all right. That post, a racial slur about the other team. That's terrible. Why would he say something like that? Then saying he was going, quote, in the hood. That was just an ignorant comment to say. The boy's parents sent us a statement saying they are devastated and sorry. They wrote in part, there is no excuse for words like this. Our son is firmly aware of that and holds himself accountable for his careless action. We as a family stand by his suspension and believe firmly that our son, our family and prayerfully our entire community will grow from this. At West Charlotte, though, the words still stinging. It really hurt our school and hurt our players because we worked so hard to get this far. But parents worry the tension could turn into trouble. CMS now working with police to make sure there's extra security at tonight's game. Do he not know what he could start by that? Now live back out here, we did receive a statement from CMS today. They called the boys' actions and words repugnant and racist, and they said that it is possible that he will wind up facing more disciplinary action as they continue to investigate the situation. We're going to be live out here all night as this line continues to grow. The community comes out to show its support tonight for its teams. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Definitely what everybody's talking about tonight. Tanya, thank you.